All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about my stock photography sales in August. Now, I'll start out by apologizing. I'm recording this super late. It's already the end of September, and I'm finally getting around to talking about my uh, August sales. I do apologize for that, but I took some time off at the end of August through the start of September to do some traveling with the family as well as taking a lot of photos. So, you know, when I got back from that, I had a lot of things to catch up with um, for work, and I really just haven't gotten around to taking a video. So again, I apologize for that, but you know, better late than never and I will not make it a habit. I'll probably record my September revenue report in just like a week or two once all the numbers get in. All right. So let's get into it and we'll take a look at how my photos sold in August. So my number one site in August was Adobe Stock with $68. Now one of the things to note about that is $50 of that was from free photos or putting my photos in the free site. So if you watch this channel regularly, you'll know that a while back, Adobe Stock opened up a free section of their website. And what they did is they went to photographers and said, you know, if you allow us to put one of your photos in the free section for one year, you got $5. And they nominated a number of my photos that hadn't really had many sales at all on Adobe. And so the ones that hadn't had many sales, I thought that $5 was a good price. I agreed to put them in there and five or 10 of those got chosen in August, which equated to $50. So it's kind of crazy that I've got a couple hundred photos for sale on Adobe Stock and those gave me $18. However, for 10 photos that I gave away for free or put in the free section for one year, it gave me $50. And that was made at the highest site for the month. Now, the next site on the list is another site where I give my photos away for free, Pexels. Pexels works a little bit differently in that you upload your photos there. Anybody can download them for free, but when they download them, they get popped up with a little donate button. And, you know, eight people click that donate button and it equated to $33 in August. So it's kind of interesting that if you look at the top two sites, and this has really been a trend for a while now, is that especially for the type of photography that I do, which is like travel landscape photography, I tend to get as much or more money on the sites that give my photos away for free as I do selling them as stock. And I do have all these up on the stock sites, I have social, I have my own website, but it just seems like for my photography, it's actually better these days to give them away for free. And that is probably because, you know, the type of photography I do, a lot of other people do it. And there's just a lot of um, competition, right, on the stock sites. Everybody's putting them out there. There's less competition on these free sites. Probably less people agreed to put their their photos on the Adobe stock. Less people are putting them on Pexels. So it allows me to make more, you know, more revenue from them. So I think it's kind of interesting. Not great on one hand, but on the other hand, I'm glad that they do exist because otherwise I wouldn't be getting that revenue at all. Now, if I go here next on the list is Smugmug. That's my own website where I got one sale equated to $25. Deposit photos was about average, about the same as last month. And this is a bit of a surprise, Shutterstock. So Shutterstock was number five. Um, that's pretty low for Shutterstock being $12, $12 and being in the fifth spot. It really wasn't a great month for Shutterstock. Let me give you an idea, Shutterstock is my highest revenue site for the year right now. And it still is my highest revenue site for the year despite having a really bad month. But it's kind of strange to see it so low on the, on the list. However, just didn't have a great month over there. One, two, three half was about average, dreams time, then big stock photo. And the total ended up being about $180, which again is about average for what I've been making with my photos this year. Um, so not bad for August. And, you know, I'm happy for that because I did manage to make some revenue. And it's great that that Adobe Sock free section is up because I would have made significantly less um, if I didn't have those photos there. So anyways, I'm going to keep it quick for this month. Again, apologize for being late. I will do another one of these videos in a couple of weeks where I'll go over my September sales and I'll talk a bit more about uh, the NFT project that I'm working on, which is one of the reasons I've been so busy, but it's going to be great. We're really working hard to, you know, figure out some really good ways to help photographers make money with NFTs um, so they can also make more income off that. And I'm really hoping that, you know, Maybe, you know, hopefully we're going to get that done later this year. And then in 2022, do you know what I mean? I'll have another section of this list where I can talk about how much money I'm making from my photos as NFTs. Anyways, if any of that interests you, make sure you subscribe. If you like this, um, give it a like and best of luck selling your photos online.